Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about AMC Entertainment, ticket symbol AMC. So in this video, you know, we are going to be talking about this question that was asked on the CNBC interview um, to Matt Cause, where they asked him, when should the apes sell if the squeeze were to happen? So for those of you who have watched those interview, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, feel free to check it out. It's uh, just go on CNBC and search for Matt Kors. And basically in that interview, they asked Matt Kors, you know, when should the apes sell during a squeeze? And I thought that was a great question and I kind of give my own opinion onto this. But first I want to say I'm not a financial advisor, so do take my opinions with a grain of salt. And if you guys happen to find this video useful or enjoyed it, feel free to click that like button down below and subscribe to stay up to date and watch more. Anyway, other than that, let's get straight into the video. So, you know, that was obviously a great question I thought that was asked is when should you sell for the squeeze to happen? Obviously, we know if the squeeze will happen, we're looking at a very high potential. You know, we could be seeing three, four, five, or even six digits on AMC. And, you know, then that comes to the question, when should we sell? And when do I think the biggest seller will come? But first, before we kind of go into that question, let's talk about even the short term. So we all know right now, in terms of whether it's technical or just sentimental right now, there is a resistance at this 48.5. We all know that there's a massive level at 48.5 that is holding the shares. And, you know, this has been confirmed by multiple people. The apes know that this as well is that 48.5 is a massive level to go against. And we obviously talked about how if we break 48.5, you know, we'd be potentially looking at an all-time high being made, a new all-time high being made. Obviously, with the previous all-time high at the high of 72.62, you know, we're looking at $100 and above for this new all-time high. And so, you know, then there's also going to be a question because at the end of the day, guys, look, we understand that, that the true apes, the one that are with this all the way, you know, we are going to buy and hold. We're not selling because we see profit we are only going to be selling when we see zero short positions and that is true however again this is not financial advice and this is only my opinions but obviously if you do need some money when there is some profit obviously feel free to take partial profit but you know if you want to be with this whole movement obviously you know holding your shares is the right thing to do but again this is not financial advice and so you know I do think that next week we're definitely going to be challenging this 48.5. I definitely think it's going to be an important battle next week. And the momentum that seems like it's coming in right now, it feels like we can beat 48.5. If we look at the previous two um, weeks, the momentum, we have a lot of momentum. You can see, you know, this obviously 23rd of August, that week we had a particular big week, but even this week we had a very nice momentum going up. And so right now the overall sentiment, the overall momentum, overall trend on AMC is a very bullish trend. And so, you know, I personally think that we can break that 48.50. And so we are going to go for a new all-time high next week. And so that's obviously going to be a big level. Now, where are some of the levels that we are going to sell? Well, I personally think at the $100 mark, we're definitely going to meet some sellers. That is just a psychological level for a lot of people. And people tend to put this, um, take profit on $100. And so, you know, when we do see the price go towards that $100, which will be um, here, we're definitely going to see some resistance. And, you know, that is just going to be a natural thing for people to take profit as the price is going up. I think that's perfectly normal. Um, but I think the overall thing will still be holding on to your shares. One thing you do have to obviously take into consideration as well is that during the, you know, the price going up for AMC, we're also going to definitely see people because of FOMO buying into AMC. The ones that would pay the handing, the ones that weren't with us the whole time, the ones that weren't with us, you know, back in Jan, back in um, February. And, you know, these people who are missing out now will definitely try and buy into these shares. And so we'll have a different set of momentum coming in. I also remember as we as the price ends close higher and higher, the hedge funds will also have to sell off their short positions. So it won't be they won't be selling all of their short positions, but we'll definitely be seeing some hedges being made. And you know, they will definitely that would definitely also boost the price up. But you know, pretty much next week, if we break 4850, we're gonna be definitely looking at a lot of bullish signals. And you know, that is just gonna be something that we're all gonna be waiting for to happen. But to answer the question, where should we sell during a squeeze? And, you know, this firstly, I have to say, and I have to state, is that everyone, when they go into a stock, you should definitely have a plan and strategy to go on about it. Uh, you know, if your plan was to sell at a certain level, then your profit, take profit, should be at that level. If you guys are scared of missing out on more potential profit, you know, considering selling partial of that profit and then let the rest run, you know, take... um a running um, stop loss, you know, and stuff like that. And so, you know, these are obviously 
um, facts and just methods that you can use to obviously help you, but make sure you have a plan. And that's ultimately, you know, what would help you kind of take your trading to the next level. A lot of people lose money in trading and investing because they don't have a plan, because they tend to change their plan as they see the price move. And that is kind of the worst thing to do when you trade or invest. If your plan was to originally sell at 70, if AMC goes to 70, then you should sell at 70. And then obviously consider taking a partial shares and have a running stop loss on that. Uh, you know, a lot of people, when they see 70, they're like, oh no, um, I don't want to miss out more. You know, I'm going to take at 80. And when it goes to, it doesn't go to 80, it starts dropping. Then, you know, they start panicking. They say, I should take at 70. I'm going to sell now. And then they sell and then suddenly it goes up to, you know, 90. And so that's just a lot of things that people obviously face into. And it's just a bad thing to do. And so the best thing I can say is have a plan. But in this video, you know, I'm going to talk about, you know, what my personal plan is for AMC. I'm definitely going to be taking partial profit when I see the price going up. I'll admit straight up that I will be taking partial profit when the price is going up. However, those are different levels that I'm going to be selling. I'm going to keep the majority of my shares at the very end to kind of uh, achieve this objective of beating the hedge funds. But when I see the share price, you know, at $100, I'll be considering taking a little bit of it, only a partial, and I'm talking about probably only just 5% of how much I hold on AMC. I'll be taking majority of my shares because I personally think AMC can go to $500. And so I'll be taking then a larger majority. It still be a minority, but in terms of the 5%, we might be looking at 10% at $500. I think AMC has the potential to even go to $1,000. And so when we reach $1,000, I'll definitely be taking um, another bit of proportion at $1,000. And then after that, I'm leaving the rest to kind of just let it go on its own. I'm leaving the rest to really talk and just kind of complete my objective of just beating the hedge funds because I'll be happy with the profits that I take at $100, at $500, at $1,000. I'll be happy with those profits. The rest, I'm holding to fight against the hedge funds. You know, a lot of people are obviously investing to AMC for life-changing money. And, you know, I am one, you know, I'm willing to sacrifice my own profits so that people take profits because I've seen on the AMC Reddit, a lot of people talk about, you know, how hard their life is, you know, how many jobs they have to work. I'm fortunate enough to um, have an operating business and now I'm making money and, you know, and so I'm willing to sacrifice the positions on AMC and, you know, to benefit the rest. And so that's something I am willing to do. And I know a lot of people are also in this so that they can beat the hedge funds. I personally know a lot of people who are saying that I'm not going to sell my shares until all the short positions are gone. And so, you know, with the profits that I take, I'll be happy with it. With the rest, I want to just make it as an objective to kind of help the whole journey, help the whole objective to beat the hedge funds. And so, you know, to answer your question of when you should sell during the squeeze, firstly is to have a plan of your own. That is important. You know, I gave my own take profits. I hope that kind of gives you um, um leeway to work with it you know hundred dollars five hundred a thousand dollars the rest i'm letting it run um eventually to a point where if there are no more short positions you know i will also be selling my shares but firstly you know you guys gotta understand at what levels you sh you are comfortable with because you know when amc starts shooting up to that 600 700 800 when it moves it's going to be moving at massive volatility and that would change how much uh, you know your pl you know, at one point you're going to be, everyone's going to be seeing their PL move, you know, $1,000, $2,000 per second. And, you know, that would be such a huge thing and an awesome thing to see. But, you know, would you be able to take that? Can you handle that stress? Can you handle that volatility? And that's the question you have to ask yourself. And so I think, you know, there are a lot of opportunities for you to sell. There's a lot of opportunities for you to make money. But ultimately at the end of the day is, you know, how much are you willing to make? How much are you okay with making? How much are you comfortable with making? And so again, guys, $100, $500, $1,000. That is my own personal where I'll be selling um, during the squeeze. And even if it's um, not a squeeze, that will be levels I'm taking. But if it is a squeeze, then obviously I'll be taking the profit at that certain level. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, be sure to press that like and subscribe button down below. Comment down below what you're seeing my AMC and comment down below what you're going to see next. On that, enjoy your day.